Hey y'all, welcome back and welcome to week two, day two of our at-home bodyweight program. It's Natalie Higby here. And Christian Placentia. Thank you so much for joining us. Today we have an endurance density training lower body workout. Okay, so that's just going to push your capacity of your legs. Now, the skill work today is great for running, jumping, landing, cutting, you know, change of direction, and just everyday walking and balance, we'll be working on some angle strength with our pogos. Now, we'll get into our warm up here. Today is going to actually start with our high knees, our butt kicks, and all of that kind of higher intensity stuff to get our heart rate up. So let's get started here, find some space, families, kids, let's get going. Going in three, two, one, here we go. Just starting with high knees. Now, since this is the first thing we're doing, you can start nice and easy. And then as you feel comfortable, you can start to speed it up a little bit. You can bring those knees a little bit higher. Let's kick it off, making sure that we're using our breath. 10 more seconds here for the high knees. Excellent job, y'all. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, relax for a second, kick that out. Butt kicks going in three, two, one, go, go. So again, I might start slow. That's perfectly fine, and then when I feel ready, if I feel good, I'll start to speed that up again. Light on the toes. We've got the arms moving here just to get that full body warm up. Nicely done. There we go, 10 more seconds. Almost there, guys. Keep breathing, keep moving. Good, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Awesome. Going with our Frankenstein kicks. Mm -hmm. Going in three, two, one. All right, hitting our hamstrings here. Now, we haven't done any other stretching yet, so this might feel a little tighter than on the other days when we do this at the end. So again, ease into it, take your time, and as you feel comfortable, start to kick that leg a little higher. Remember, try to keep the leg as straight as you can. Nice job, about 10 more seconds. Good work, good work, five, four, Three, two, one, eight. Perfect. There we go. Now, if you were with us yesterday, we did um, this traveling drill with the ball, okay? We'll do the same thing today. If you don't have a ball, grab any other piece of equipment in your house or use your imagination. We are going to use this space right here that we have, but you can do this drill in place if you don't have enough space to walk back and forth. All right, so what we wanna do here is again challenge some single leg balance, challenge our hip mobility as we walk forward. So we're just bringing that ball underneath our leg, staying tall on this walk. Trying to keep your eyes up, that would be the challenge here as well. There we go. Again, a little balance, a little coordination, a little hip mobility. We'll take it back, keep moving, move with us here for the whole time. If you're working with a partner, just take turns, just like Christian and I are doing. Nicely done. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but go backwards. So challenging your brain a little bit here. We're just going to step. And again, now I'm just walking backwards, so make sure that you're good on space. Again, we're staying tall. Can we keep our eyes up? How high can we bring that knee? Can we keep that core tight? And you work at your own pace. You can go fast or slow. Either one is okay. Nice job. Beautiful, then we'll take it back again, moving backwards. Good, keep breathing, don't hold your breath on this one. There you go. Nice, good work, good work. Let's see if we can speed it up a little bit. Nice, just a fun way to get moving, get that heart rate up. Beautiful, y'all, awesome. Next up, we're gonna go low. So now we're traveling, keeping that belly button or your chest lower to this front leg as we step. So now we're working a little more on the ankles, knees, hips, challenging the legs just a little bit more here. Beautiful. Nice, nicely done. And we'll take it back. Again, staying low on this one. Where are your eyes? Can you keep your eyes up though? Again, you can go fast or slow. You pick your pace. Awesome. Now we've got to go backwards, okay? So, Stepping back, using that breath, staying low. Nice work. 
Good. There you go. And we'll do this one more time. Stay moving with us here. Again, we're going backwards now. Good work, good work. Good job, Nat. Nice, thank you, thank you. Feeling those legs a little bit more? All right. Now, we're going with some sit-ups next. So, grab a partner here. If you don't have a partner, that's okay. You can work through this solo. That works as well. We're just going to go feet kind of right next to each other, maybe even hook on the inside. We're going to use our ball again. Again, any object works or just a high five will work just fine as well. We're going to sit up and pass here. So I'll come all the way back. As I sit up, I'll pass the ball. Now we're each doing a sit up each time. We're each going to get 10. So that's two for me. There we go. That's three on the passes. Three for me. There you go, Nat. Four. Good work. Number four for me. Awesome job, guys. Five. Five here for me, halfway through. Six. Good job, Nat. Six, Six two. here for me. Guys, continue to breathe here. Seven. Seven here for me. Nice job. Keep it up. That's eight. Eight. Awesome job, Hold guys. Hold on to it. Just a couple more. This is nine. Nine here. Last one for me once I come back up. Yep. And I'll go all the way down, passing it to Natalie. Okay, Perfect. Good job. Go ahead. Awesome job, Nat. Go all on. right. Now, we're going with a little side twist here. So now we're just going to sit side by side. We'll push our heels into the ground. You could hover the heels, whatever feels like a good challenge for you today. I'll rotate, and then I'll toss the ball to Christian. And now you'll notice we're trying to keep our spine long, so proud chest. We don't want to fold forward here. And proud chest, long neck. Ooh, taking the heels off the ground. I like it. Let's keep moving. Again, just twisting, getting that core to turn on here. Make it work. Challenge it. There you go. Use that breath. Let's keep it up. Oh, I'm going to try to lift my heels. Whoo. Let's go for another five. Four. Awesome work, y'all. Here three, we go. Two. There you go. One. Last one for me. Perfect. Awesome. Now, we'll, go to switch, on we'll switch. You guys can turn around so we get the other side here. Same thing applies. We'll sit tall. Heels can more. be on the ground Perfect. or hovering. Perfect. Ready? And one. We're going for ten. Two. Three. Nice job. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Proud chest. Seven. Seven. Almost there, Eight. guys. Hold on to Eight. it. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Woo. Perfect. Four. Great job, Matt. All nice right. One. Now. I'll take that ball for you. Thank you. We can put the ball away. We're going into some high planks with a little hand clap. Okay? Now, if you don't have a partner, you could just reach out to your basketball, to an object out in front. If you have a partner, I want you to face your partner. We'll go palms on the ground into a high plank position. So we'll bring our knees off the ground. We want to squeeze our belly, squeeze our booty here. We're going to high five, okay? So we're just coming opposite hands together. That's two. We're going for 20 total. Four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, nine ten, ten, halfway. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good work, good work. Now, contralateral plank lift. We're going to stay in this high plank position and or go to your knees, whichever works best, because we're going to try to lift opposite hand and toe. So will you go from your knees first, Christian? Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that our hips are in line with our spine here. He's going to lift opposite limbs. So one hand, one foot comes up. Again, opposite side of the body. Can you show them from the high plank? Mm -hmm. So if you're going from the high plank, just an extra challenge here. Bring your knees off the ground. Try not to wiggle too much. Try to keep that strength. There you go. Let's keep moving. Let's jump into this. Come on, we'll finish out our warm up here. We have another 30 seconds. Again, we can go knees on the ground or knees off the ground. Breathe. Squeeze that belly. Squeeze that booty. You guys got this. Almost Stay there. strong and stable. Nice job. 15 more seconds. Past halfway now. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Nice Good job, Matt. Awesome.
awesome work, guys. Hopefully, you guys were feeling a little bit more warmed up. I don't know about y'all, feeling a little bit more sweaty, a little bit more hot, which is good. That's perfect for us going into our workout. Now, Natalie said the skill of the day, we're going to be working on our ankle strength here, okay? Now, I think it makes sense for a lot of basketball players out there why ankle strength would be important. But for my parents who are coaches who may be doing this, to give you guys some perspective, again, anytime we're out on the court trying to play against our kids, trying to maybe give a little bit of defense or a little bit of offense against them, the last thing we want is to be able to roll our ankle or be able to put ourselves in a compromised position, right? Or a position that we don't spend a lot of time in. And so th that's why this is perfect for you guys to work in as well, okay? Now, the first round, we're gonna go on two feet here together and we're gonna get 10 reps. Now, I'm gonna show here about two or three practice reps and then we'll all do it together, okay? Rule number one, do not allow a lot of bend in your knee. We're not looking to load and explode up. There's a minimal time that our legs are actually on the ground. So you're gonna see here, there are quick hops here with my ankle. And now, once I leave the ground, I want your ankle to think about pulling up before you push back down. So if we're keeping our ankles like this, that's not what we're looking for, not pointing down. After we come off the ground, toes come up, and then they'll touch the ground and they'll naturally come down towards the ground. So every time we leave the ground, toes up, ankles up. Sound good, y'all? Okay, let's go hands on our hips. We'll go 10 reps right here, okay? Again, a little bit of bend and quick jumps off the ground. Three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect, guys. Now we're gonna go on one leg. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go right foot in front of me, same thing, just on my right leg. Here we go. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Now we're gonna do the same deal on our next side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Guys, that was one round. We're gonna do that two more times, just like that. Sound good? Let's go off of two feet here again. Perfect. And again, over to the single leg. Now Nat's gonna keep on moving. I'm just gonna give you guys some cues here, okay? What we don't want is our body moving forward and back, right? We don't want any dance moves when we're doing this drill here. We're really just trying to keep this upper body nice and still so that the ankle can get a lot of good work here. Awesome work, Nat. We got one more round, right? Let's go two feet here. Remember, staying vertical and not letting our body go forward. Once I get 10 on two, 10 on one. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Next side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nice eight, job. nine, ten. Perfect. Again, guys, that's something that we could really do almost every single day. It's almost like a good secondary warm up, but it's great to focus on the ankles. Okay. Now let's get into the workout. Right. So today, like Natalie said, we have a lower body focused workout. And we're really going to focus upon trying to complete as many rounds as we can in 12 minutes. Yesterday, right, we have our every minute on the minute. We're trying to move through three movements as quick as we can, and each minute will tell us when to start. This one today, right when we finish up, yeah, we're nonstop. going from movement to movement to movement nonstop. You take a rest whenever you need it. Now, here's the first thing that we have here, okay? Our sumo squat. So, I got my toes facing out, and you can always face, uh, show what, or look, sorry, at Natalie. Natalie will always be moving. I might be talking sometimes, okay? Toes are facing out, hips are wide. As she goes down into her squat, her knees pull wide and her chest stays tall. Whenever she feels a little bit of tightness in her hips, that's when she's gonna come on up. Now guys, everyone, regardless of what level you're at, is doing five reps. Everyone's doing five reps here today at the sumo squat. Now the second thing we have here is gonna be our dragon lunge. So Natalie's gonna keep her left foot on the ground facing forward. Her right leg here is going to step underneath her body into what might call, be called a curtsy lunge. Maybe some of us call this lunge something else, but for us, we like to call it our dragon lunge. And again, regardless of what level you're at, you have five reps on each leg, okay? Now, the last thing we have is we're going to go into our hinge with the reach, right? So very, very important. I'm going to have Natalie face the side. As she does her hinge, guys, pay very close attention that from her hands or her thumb to her shoulders to her hips is one long ramp. And that's what we want. Natalie can go ahead and stand up tall. Everybody today does 12. And again, what we don't want to see, guys, is like rounding of your spine, right? That's going to hurt your lower back if you keep doing those hinges like that, correct? Mm -hmm. So 
five of our sumo, five of the dragons, 10 with the hinges. Now, if you are at the rookie level, you're gonna finish five to six rounds in 12 minutes. If you're at the all-star, you're gonna have seven to eight rounds. And then anything above eight rounds is gonna be MVP. So again, the quicker you go, the more rounds you get, the higher level you're gonna be achieving today, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's put this timer on and let's get moving together, guys. In 12 minutes, here we go. Three, two, one, and here we go. We got five sumo squats here. Three, four, and you're gonna see from round to round, you might be able to go a little bit deeper into your sumo squat. That's just because your body's warming up a little bit. Usually this area in here is tight for a lot of basketball players because we do so much cutting, because we do so much landing, because we change direction so much, this area almost has to be tight sometimes. But sometimes when it's a little too tight is when we start to experience those aches and those pains. So that's why it's always good to throw these movements in. Look, Natalie's already moving ahead of me. I love that. Remember, we got five sumos, five dragon squats on each leg, and then we have 10 of our hinges with the reach. Remember, we're not just reaching our hands. See how my hands are in line with my shoulders? I want to keep that straight line towards my hip, okay? Great job, Matt. Nice job. Now, I want to encourage you guys, if you are really tracking your rounds, jot it down maybe or grab something to just kind of mark what round you're on because sometimes i know for me i lose count as i'm counting my reps yep yep big time and natalie's moving she's doing a great job if you're at home right now and you're like man i've never done this type of squat this is tight for me then by all means i might just come to a couch i might come to a wall i'm going to come to something that's going to allow me to keep my chest up and allow me to feed my legs with more tension Okay, that's our goal in the very beginning. It's not about doing stuff without level one. It's not about doing stuff at the highest, hardest level, right? It's about doing stuff at a level that we can feel the challenge in our body. That's where we want to be first, and then we continue to find that spot every single workout. We're going to continue to get better, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm going to finish up here. I'm doing a lot of talking. <laughs> Again, I like to talk a lot because then it gives me an excuse to not keep up with Natalie. Because if I tried to, Natalie would probably be beating me every round. I don't but know about okay. that. But you guys at home are feeling like you could pick up your pace, yep. by all means, pick up your pace. Again, if you need to stop, grab water, grab water when you need to. Either one is fine. We want to find what is challenging for my body today. How can I push myself, making sure that I'm using proper movement mechanics so I'm becoming just a better mover overall. I'm getting stronger in these ranges but I'm also pushing myself physically and mentally. Awesome job, everybody. Nice work. Doing great, guys. Doing great, Nat. You too. We got about nine more minutes, guys. About nine more minutes to go. Here we go. Just want to encourage you as you go through these dragon lunges, try not to let your chest fall forward. See if you can keep your chest up and your eyes up as you move through this one. Awesome job. Great cueing, Matt. Now, guys, you guys might be thinking, okay, this is pretty easy. Awesome. So now we want to make things a little bit harder. Nat in her dragon, me in my sumo, all I'm going to do is take my arms up overhead. Now, when my arms go up overhead, my body might want to start moving in different ways. Remember, our form, our shoulders right over our hips have to stay the same. Okay, so just because we're adding an element, right, of challenge doesn't mean that the drill changes. We still have that same context of how to complete the drill. We just make things a little bit more challenging by making our body longer by reaching. Nice job. Good work, you guys. Let's keep moving. From the side here in the sumo, again, you'll see I'm keeping my shoulders over my hips as much as I can, trying not to let my chest fall forward. That's the challenge here, so you can get that nice Hip opener, just strengthen the hips a little bit in this one. Nice job. There we go. I'm gonna take my arms overhead for this one. Awesome job, everybody. Continue to breathe, y'all. We're already coming up Woo! to that five minute mark. We're getting closer and closer to five minutes down, guys. Continue to move, continue to breathe here. Here we go. Remember, just as a reminder, if you complete five to six rounds, 
I would say, we would say, you're at the rookie level, okay? If you're getting seven to eight rounds, those are my all-stars. And if you're at eight rounds or above, man, you're working like an MVP. And we love that, okay? Great job, y'all. Good work, guys. Good job, family members. Encourage each other. Again, we want to encourage one another, but we could also have a little friendly competition to help push one another. Yep. Awesome work, everybody. And just as another cue, guys, if you might be feeling this one in your knee when you're doing your dragon squats, it's okay to let your pelvis open up to your free side. So if my right leg is stepping underneath my left here, I can rotate my chest and my pelvis towards the side. That'll take a little bit of tension off your knee if the hips are a little tight for you, okay? Awesome, awesome. Here we go, guys. Almost there, y'all. We're exactly five minutes down. Let's continue to move. Continue to breathe here. Seven. Eight. Good job. You guys keep it up. Ten. I'm feeling pretty good. How are you feeling? I feel great right now. My hips and my hamstrings are starting to loosen up. I feel like my back was maybe a little stiff this morning after yesterday's workout. So it feels great to be able to move it all around right now. I love it. How about yourself, Nat? Yeah, feeling good. Feeling like maybe I could pick up my pace a little bit, but yeah. just trying to ease into that today mm -hmm, for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's great. So what I might do, because I'm kind of like Nat, I'm using this beginning portion, right? Almost like this first six minutes, the first half, to really just kind of loosen up my body, try to figure out what is challenging. I know for me, this movement's pretty challenging. So I might spend a little bit more time in each rep here, right? But then, once I start to feel things loosen up or warm up for me, and I'm feeling like I caught like my second wind, right? Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna pick it up a little bit more. So I'll probably wait till about like the last four minutes, and then I'm gonna try to sprint my way through this workout. Again, you might be sprinting through this workout right now, and that's all right. That's perfectly fine, okay? Here How about go. breathing? How are you breathing? Yep, that's an important factor. Always an important factor, guys. If we can control our breath, if we can learn how to keep moving and breathing together, like you can hear now, inhaling down, exhaling up. You might not be doing that. You might be doing that. But you're going to see that each movement, and each person has their specific pattern of breath and movement that can really help you perform at, a, at the next level or the level you guys have probably never experienced before. So that's why it's great during these workouts to start to explore with that, right? How can we coordinate our movement and our breath together so that as we're moving, we are not killing ourselves, but we're pushing ourselves to getting better through a little challenge, but not over the top where we lose our breath and then our form starts to look like bad. Our mind leaves us because ultimately in the game of basketball, that can happen, right? In the game of life, we can't lose our head, right? Our mental is just as important as our physical, and that's why we love our breath. And Guys, four more minutes, y'all. We have four to be minutes. good to go when it's fourth quarter, right? Yep, <laughs> To exactly. make sure we conserve some of our energy and just breathe properly so that we have that energy at the end. So on a lot of these, I'm breathing in through my nose and out through my mouth. That might be new for some of you, but just bring awareness to how you're breathing. Is it all in your mouth? Is it all in your nose? Are you using both? Does one feel a little easier or harder than the other? Here we go, guys. Again, less than four minutes, guys. We're getting to the end here. The last third of this workout. Nice job. Good job, Nat. Great job, everybody at home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Again, we're so much better for this, guys. When we get done with this, whether you're doing this in the morning, in the afternoon, or maybe right even before you go to bed, that's perfectly fine, but you're gonna be better off, you're gonna be a better physical, better off physically and mentally after this workout, right? It's always good throwing some adversity at our body, at our mind, and challenging to see how well we deal with it. Almost there, everybody. We got almost, I will say, two and a half minutes left, guys. Two and a half minutes, here we go. Not only that, but body weight is great because your body weight you can take with you anywhere. Mm -hmm. It is a tool that we have access to all the time. And it's ultimately the tool that we need to be able to control the best, right? Yep. We have to control our body and our breath 
before we can control anything else, yep. any other object, whether that's a basketball or a weight of some sort. Mm -hmm. So practicing these body weight moves, getting better, getting stronger in them is extremely important to overall health, extremely important to overall performance on or off the court. And believe it or not, guys, some of the NBA guys that I train, some of the professional athletes that Natalie trains, the most challenging part for our athletes sometimes is the body weight training, is the mm -hmm. mobility, is this type of stuff, is to be able to breathe and move together. Why? Because a lot of us just haven't been told or haven't been taught, right? So that's why it's so great at this young of an age or parents, now that you're getting exposed to it right now, better late than never, mm -hmm. right? We're almost there, guys. We got about 90 seconds left, everybody. About 90 seconds left. Here we go. Nice job. Continue to breathe. Continue to move here. Here we go. And also, just for something to think about at home, could you just be holding a basketball here the whole time and doing some of this stuff with the basketball? By all means, okay? Always know that there's so much room for creativity around these workouts, guys. We like to just give you a framework and then you guys can explore after that, right? The idea of play and explore is huge for us. Almost there, guys. Last 60 seconds. Come on. Let's see what you got here for this last minute. Nat, do you know what round you're on? Um, I do not. <laughs> it's okay. As I said, I have to write them down because mm -hmm. as I count reps, I'll lose track. Um, maybe next time I'll grab a little pen and paper because that'll keep me a little more honest. Yeah. But sometimes when I start talking, I lose track of reps. So hopefully you at home who, you know, you're not having the talk, you're able to count your reps. You're able to keep track of those rounds because we do want you to kind of see where you're at. So maybe you come back to this later and you can track your progress and your improvement. 30 seconds, guys. Last 30 seconds. Here we go. Here we go. 25 seconds, y'all. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Come on. Last 10 seconds. Last 10 seconds here. I'm going to try to get a couple more reps here in my hinge. Here we go. Five, four, all the way through. Three, two, one. Woo. Awesome job. Nat, great job. I'm sweating a little bit. Nat's got herself sweating. Hopefully, you guys at home push yourself a little bit more. If you felt like that was pretty easy, there's nothing holding you back from pausing and doing more reps and more rounds. Okay, yeah, guys? Definitely. If you guys are feeling good, you could go through that again. You could take a few minutes of rest and then cycle through. If that was a challenge for today, then we thank you for pushing yourself and thank you yeah. for joining. Um, excellent movements. You got it now, thank you. Let's go through a little decompression, y'all, before we get going here, before we log off, right? Make sure that we are taking care of our mind and our body. So, what I want you to do is I want you to come down to the ground. Down. On this movement, what I want you to do is bring one knee up to the same side wrist. So we're gonna bring one knee up, kind of bring this ankle up a little bit and kick our back leg back. So we're going into our pigeon stretch here. I want you to stay tall and I just want you to rock your hips back and forth. We'll rock back and forth for those three inhales, three exhales. Of course, if you want to stay here a little bit longer, you can when you're ready. We'll come into a high plank. Again, we'll bring same side knee up to our wrist. Bring this foot forward a little bit more. Kick the back leg back. We'll push into the ground here. So just keeping our chest up and just slightly rocking the hips back and forth. Let's inhale. Slow exhale for three, two, one. Awesome job, y'all. Now I want you to just come into our shin box. So if you're sitting here with your feet flat, allow the knees to push to the side. And now we'll rock our hips back and forth here. So we're just going to try to sit our glute down onto the ground and then squeeze the hip forward. So it's a very um, just subtle motion here, rocking back and forth. Let's take two more breaths. And then we'll switch sides. Last stretch here, okay? Again, hands just come on the knees so I can stay tall. I push and pull here with my hip as I breathe nice and slow. Again, just allowing this decompression time to help me check back in with how are things feeling. Again, just trying to bring that heart rate down 
and loosen some areas up so that I'm not too tight tomorrow. Excellent job, you guys. Good work. Now, let's finish with our journal prompt for the day. One of my favorite parts, again, just challenging us mentally so that we can just become not better people, but better athletes, right? We want to be better on the court. We want to be better, better off the court. And these journal prompts also just make you like better as a family member, especially if you guys talk about these things. You can really learn a lot about yourself and about the people around you. Now, today's journal prompt is all about self-confidence. So self-confidence is really important when we're thinking about performing well, right? It's okay to feel shy or nervous. That's totally normal, but it's also important that we find something within ourselves that we can feel confident about so that when we do step out on the court or step into any arena, we can tackle something knowing that we're capable of taking on that challenge. So what I want you to think about today is where is somewhere in your life or what is something in you that you are very confident confident in what about yourself do you believe in so again we're thinking self-confidence not being extremely cocky but knowing that you are capable so again what is something that you know you believe in about yourself 